تفضل برضه جو اهيد لا لا نو بروبلم سوري ماي نيم از بايرن ناس ميتي بايرن ماي نيم شمسي كول كان يو تراست مي اي دونت نو يو كان تراست يو سو ذير يو جو سو هاو هاو از ذا ار ذا ميم سيتي وتوتس ذاتس ترو ذاتس ترو تراست مي لا تراست نايس فور يو تو انديرستاند يا سو ماي بوينت هير از ماي بوينت هير از I'm speaking to the uncle here. Yeah, yeah. So I said to him, look, King James yeah. is based upon a manuscript. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That manuscript was discovered literally 100 years after. Okay. Like, literally, the, 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 the Christian scholars say to you, that manuscript is a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy okay. of a copy of the original one. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Or more than that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm asking him, if you don't know the writers, can we trust him? He said, no. I said, so how can you worship God on a book you don't know who wrote it? That's my point. As for the Muslim who come to the other side, we know the Quran. The Quran was not passed down to us by a book that we discovered in, in Saudi 700 years after Prophet Muhammad. Okay. No, the Quran was passed down to us generation after generation. It, since mm. the memorization, yeah. Okay. So the time Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu he used to receive the revelation, read it out to his companions, they read it out to him, write it down, and then there were scholars at the time Prophet Muhammad, okay. they were known their job is to teach the Quran okay. from the time of Prophet Muhammad. Now, if you go to any mosque, like in our mosque, we have five people that memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. That's their job to teach the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these five people, they, some of them have a chain of narration. It goes back to Prophet Muhammad. Okay. So we know Abu Bakr as Siddiq. His name is Abdullah ibn Abi Quhafa. We know him very well. We know Abdul Khattab. We know Uthman ibn Affan. We know Ali ibn Abi Talib. We know Abu Huraira. We know Anas ibn Malik. We know Mu'ad ibn Jabal. I know these names very well. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we know them very well. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to Christianity, yeah, yeah. they rely on manuscripts that was found or discovered hundred years after. Okay. So my argument is, like you said, I don't know you. Can I yeah. trust you? Yeah. I can't trust you. Yeah, yeah. So if I cannot trust you, imagine you tell me, yeah, Jesus, you imagine you tell me, Jesus died for your sins. I said, what? Who said that to you? I don't I, even know you. No, I mean, I, I do understand what you're saying. I mean, I'm not a Christian, but I do believe in the Bible. I do. I don't believe in Christianity. I think it's devil worship. That's my personal opinion. But the Bible, I think, is 100% true. That's, that's just me. Yeah. Um, so I understand everything you're saying. I get it. And I think, you know, even when you said die for your sins, people in the Bible, they was forgiven without Jesus being there. So, that's, we, that's, ha you know, yeah, we have a lot of... That's right. But so, sorry. don't you think that with what you said as well, and I'm just nicely talking it. Yeah, no problem. Ain't there a such thing as Chinese whispers as well though? So yeah. someone memorizing, is there not a chance that they could forget and make uh. up and give to you and you? But again, you no, said, could, it, could it happen? No I'm problem. Just asking, could but it? is it Chinese? You know what Chinese whisper mean? Is a whisper, you know, teaching openly. Okay. So a reputation, Prophet, the Quran was not be was not being taught in the people's ears one by another. Openly, Prophet Muhammad teaches companions by hundreds, by hundreds of people. Okay. You understand? Right, so yeah, that yeah. is a reputation against Chinese whisper. Yeah. Also, Prophet Muhammad, when he used to read it out to his companions, okay. there was hundreds of them or thousands of them sometimes. Okay. They read it out to him. Okay. They sit in the mosque, memorize it. You know, yeah, yeah. and also the Almighty already promised that he will preserve the Quran. That's why there is a claim in the Quran. Because I'm not saying to you because the Quran said it, just believe in it. No, when the Quran makes claim, it backs it up with a proof. What's the proof? How, how does uh, it find this proof? Ah, uh, that's a good point. So now, like I mentioned many times, if the Muslims and the Jews and the Christians, all of them decided to burn their scriptures, burn it. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave no nothing in the written form. Okay. The only scripture will remain with us is the Quran. Okay. Do you know why? Because hundreds of million of people memorize the Quran word for word. I'm not talking about two, five, four. Okay. Hundred million of people memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. Okay. The Muslim scholars do that. Okay. I'm talking about the Muslim children at the age of five, yeah, yeah, six. Yeah. No, no, my daughter, no, no. my daughter, she's nearly five or six. She memorized four chapters of the Quran from her, from her mind straight away. You understand? My other one, seven. You understand? So my point here is that that claim we can verify it right now. It, that, so therefore that claim cannot be a claim of a normal human being it has to be a claim of the creator of human beings because that claim the it was said 1400 years ago okay. and we can verify it right now okay. you understand my point okay. so my point to you again how can you claim the bible is absolute truth if you don't know who wrote it i, I don't know if it's about knowing who wrote it though i think it's about seeing the proof happen in front of you so in sense even down to Muslims. Yeah. How do you become a Muslim? Okay, what I, do you have to believe in 
Um, and who, who, who do you get saved by if you believe it like that? No, uh, I mean, we, your terminology. Well, it, to become Muslim is to believe there is no one worthy of worship in truth except okay. Allah, yeah. the creator of everything. Which I agree. And you believe in Muhammad, the messenger of Allah. Okay. And you believe in Jesus to be the Messiah and the messenger of Allah. And to believe all the prophets and the messengers. Okay. If someone does not believe Jesus, if, if someone claims to be a Muslim and he does not believe in Jesus to be the Messiah, and the true Messiah, the messenger of Allah, is not a Muslim. So does the Quran say that you go to God through Jesus? No, the Quran teaches us that Allah sent the prophets, uh, prophets and messengers to teach people how to worship God. So imagine now if I was alive as a Muslim, you believe, if I was alive at the time of Jesus and I was from the Israelites, the only way to get to God is by following Jesus' teaching because, because he was the anointed one. Okay. He was the chosen one okay. before Jesus was Moses. Now I believe as the last prophet is Muhammad, therefore there is no salvation except by following his teaching. You understand? And who does Muhammad follow? Pro uh, follow the creator of everything. But it, does he follow them through Jesus? No, no, no. what do you mean? Does he so, come with the same so, teaching? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So we believe. Is it passed down? Is it passed down? Yes, Jesus' be teaching? Yeah. Is we believe all the prophets and messengers came with the same foundation. Okay. And that is believe in God alone. Okay. Don't worship no one beside him. Okay. And believe in the prophets and the messengers. Believe in the books. Believe that there is a life after death. You understand? So we believe that uh, uh, this is called the foundation. However, some legislation was given to some prophets and messengers different than the other prophets and messengers. How you understand? is that different to the Bible? Though? What you just said, how is it different? I'll tell you how it's different. For example, the Bible believe, tells you that Jesus came to die for your sins. As Paul said that. We don't believe that. We believe you are responsible for your sins. But what is, yeah, but when he says die for your sins, how do you um, perceive that? How, how do you think that is? Do you, do we believe this by the blood? This is what the Christianity, is that what it is? Yeah, of course, that's what they say. Okay, that's they say, what they say. Jesus okay. died for your Biblically, sins. Biblically though, you yeah. don't like Paul, you know, you don't like Paul. Yeah, Paul, Paul, yeah, Paul. You don't like Paul. Okay, because I believe Paul changed it, yeah. Okay. So, so the point here is, in the Bible, in the Bible, when you read the Bible, clearly, for example, Jesus to be a son of God. Okay. That is the biggest, uh, that, that's one of the worst evil statements you can attribute to the Creator. Then ask why. Because that's, yeah, no problem. Allah answered that. Allah said, وَقَالُوا تَخَذَ الرَّحْمَنُ وَلَدَ They said, the most high, the most beneficent, have a begotten son. You came with the most evil statement. Then Allah goes on to mention, It's not befitting for the Most High, the Almighty, the Creator, to have a son, because that's the nature of the creation. It's not the nature of the Creator. You understand? So the Creator is not the creation. The creation to have a son, to pass on the heritage, to pass on and so on. That's not the nature of the Most High, the Almighty. You understand? Ain't that what we... Ain't that what he does through us though? Is that not what he does? What do you mean? Pass on himself through yeah, us. Is that, not where we're uh, is that not why we study yeah, the Quran? Is that not why we study the Quran? No, no, we are. I'm not even arguing. Yeah, no, no, I'm no, no. No, no. No, no, that's why I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here for 15 years, yeah, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, I'm if I ask you a question, so my point, no, that's not the same because when you, a son is an English word, yeah? Okay. Let us define in English, according to English language, to any language. So what would you do, with, how would you say it in Arabic? Walid. Okay. And Ibn or Walid. Same thing. If, same a man, thing. Man, if a man and a woman, firstly, when a man and a woman get together, produce a son, which is a biological son. Okay. Or an old man, call a young man, my son. Okay. Or stepson. Okay. You see, that is so. None of this. So come, come, listen, listen to the truth. Don't run away. So none, none of that befits the Most High. You understand? That's why we are called the servants. Right. The, 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 the creation of the Creator. Image, like so the Creator, the Creator, the Hebrew Israelites. You know, the Israelites. They used to utilize the sun as a symbol for someone who is righteous. Okay. However, when the Roman pagans accepted Christianity, they adapted that and they took it literally. Okay. Let me ask you, do you know which person was born on 25th December? Jesus. Uh, That's not true. It's Jesus. Mithra. Mithra Jesus. is the sun god of the Greeks. Oh, yeah, no, the sun god of the Greeks called Mithra I was born I on... I don't do Christmas either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here we are. Show you, show you. The, the, so the concept of a god son yeah. already existed among the pagan Romans before Christianity. Okay. So Jesus never came with his teaching. Okay. No Moses that, that was a symbol as a righteous person. 
but they took it literally because why Jesus as we believe no doubt he was born without a father okay. but that's a mean because Jesus was born without a father Therefore, told his father Joseph. is God. We tell because, Joseph. We tell Joseph. We tell Joseph. We tell Joseph. God who is Mary, who is Mary, who is Mary. You know what you're finished. I told Joseph. Yeah, no. So, is it Jack? Give me one of Jack. We tell Joseph. 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 So, God who is Joseph. We tell Joseph. God created paradise. Okay. Pure good. Okay. Create the hellfire. Pure evil. Okay. Then he created this life. Is mixed good with evil. Okay. God created Adam without a man and a woman. Okay. Then he created Eve not from Eve. from uh, uh, from Adam, from yeah. Adam okay. not a woman. No, Eve. And God created Jesus Eve from a woman, not a man, yeah, to show us the Almighty is the first able. Lady, Hear me out. You know the first lady. That's man. He's able. The Almighty shown us is able to create. No, he's not. He's not bound by this human lim limitation. Okay. God can create God the God the man without. Uh, say, uh, if, if, uh, if ox, yeah. if ox, Joseph, that's, the Mary, that's very rude, Uncle. Mary, <laughs> Mary, Mary. You have your time. You have your time. You have your time. Your time, you time, time, time. time is okay. over, <laughs> Uncle. Even the rest of family will forgive you. What point is it? We need to the Old Testament. We go and guess the teaching of the Almighty, worshiping God alone, Jesus to be Son of God, die for your sins. None of that. So if. If God, if God made Adam, yeah. So what did He make then? If it weren't a son, what what is it He made? Creation. Just if I, if I make a car, is that car my son? Some people say that. A car is my son. Some people say that's, 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 that's my baby. No, no, but that's what some no. people would say. So you're gonna turn around, turn around, turn around. No, but that, 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 that's metaphorical. Right. But then turn around, turn around, turn around. In the Bible, it's metaphorical. No, but if it's more, it's better off stay away from me. That's why even it's metaphorical. Oh, so, all right, all right. That's why it can confuse people. Oh, right, understand. I understand what you're saying. That's okay. why Islamically oh. speaking, okay. always we like to utilize terminologies right. that is clear, doesn't not cause confusion. Right. You understand? I, oh, I get what you're saying. You understand? Because okay. the Almighty is not the author of so it's not confusion. confusion. Yes. So it's not that you're actually against it, against it. No, but you're I'm just Jesus is that. I'm guessing any form. Huh? I'm, I'm guessing in any form, metaphorical or non-metaphorical. You are guessing it because it causes confusion. Okay. That's what Allah said in the Quran. Right. In o Muhammad say to them, if the most high if the most high have begotten son, I will be from the first people to worship him. So no, but that's not the with the most high. No, 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 let me talk. No, yeah, man. Uh, I'm no, no, no. I spoke to you last week. I'm going to tell you Come back. Come back. No, no, no. Just one thing. Just one thing. All right. I'm saying that. 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 I'm Loving son. I'm saying that he's a son. Okay. But hear me, but hear me. You wanna worship the most high, correct? Brother. You wanna worship the most high. You wanna worship the most high. You wanna worship the most high. Okay. So should we should we worship the most high according to his teaching or according to our feelings? His teaching. His teaching. Prove to me the New Testament came from God. I don't know how I can Okay, so that's, that's why the beauty of Islam, Islam is not based upon feelings. It, when, it, when the Prophet Muhammad, when God sent the prophets and messengers, he doesn't not send them with the personal experience. He doesn't send them by saying, no, I had a dream, that's it. He like, will give proofs why they are the messengers of the Most but High. It's the proof. So, now, jo sorry, sorry, I'm not trying to jump yeah. in. So, would it be proof if you're reading a book and it manifests in you? Is that proof enough? In what way manifests in you? In so, what way? if you change and change for the better, and change more godly, if you want to put it in that term, is that not proof enough? But in what way? So now, imagine now the Hindus, they say the same thing. The yeah, Buddhist same thing. I'm asking you no, a question. No, it's, uh, that's I'm not the criteria. How, how are we going to have the proof? Yeah, that, that's not in the... In what sense would we have proof? Yeah, but again, that, that, that's one of the criteria, but there's not absolute one. Because why now, when you look at the Bible, yes? The Bible doesn't not give us solutions for our problems. Uh, okay, I'll give you a simple. <laughs> oh, please. One of the th one of the destroyer of societies alcohol, wine. Okay. Does the Bible teach you to drink or not a to drink? Little. A little. It says a little. Scientifically proven, well established, little of alcohol damages your kidney. A little. Even little. Therefore, the okay. Most High tell us to drink something to harm ourselves. So, That's why, Islamically okay. speaking, okay. So, Allah mentioned the Quran. Yeah. 
anything that harms you, stay away from it. So the Most High, the All Wise, okay. will not legislate a wine because we believe a wine is the blood of Jesus. And if you really love Jesus, you're gonna drink more of His blood. Correct? No, that's Christianity. That's not me. No, that's, that's the not Bible. biblical. That's no, the Bible. No, that's, that's not ice. the Bible. That ain't what the Bible says. So the Bible that's, that's is Christianity okay. yeah. overstates a lot of things. So they would overdo a lot of things. But the Bible don't say drink more. No, does the, the Bible more teach you the wine is the blood of Jesus? It's a reference of the blood. Of Jesus. Okay, so if it's the blood of Jesus, don't you not love Jesus? Yeah. But so I don't the, mean I have no. to. I love I love um, sneakers, but I don't mean I have to eat thousand. Are you gonna buy many sneakers? Right, but then the thing is, even on that concept, you said that it's not right, okay? But even eating a sneaker is bad for your body too. So then, where does that stop? Then? No, but a little, a little is not bad. I'm but talking about. But wine is. I always want to say about wine. Okay. Well, I'm saying wine. Now look, Prophet Muhammad told us, a little of wine yeah. just adds a lot, and it's true. Why? Because remember. If you get gonna get you, yeah. how people start, how people get hooked in drugs? Yeah, take, take. Yeah, yeah, how? Yeah, you touch, you need to, yeah, you touch yeah, it. You see, I've been there, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you know, that's why Islam. You know, yeah, yeah. I've been that lifestyle yeah, 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 too. Yeah, yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. That's why. You, so that's why Islam. What does it say about alcohol? It's, it doesn't say don't drink. It says fresh tenibu. Tenibu means stay far away from it. Okay. That's what Prophet Muhammad cursed the person who serves it. The person who drink it, the person who sit, sit around it, because this called the, the alcohol called the mother of evil. If okay. you drink a little, we yeah, need you. Yeah, so therefore, this book, the Bible, is not good for our society if it's allowing us and teaching us to drink a little of wine, because that's what the deception of a Satan, step by but step. That, sounds, that, sounds, that is brilliant, and you know what? I do agree. But then, where does that principle stop? Because even if you look at children these days. When their mom says they can't go into a sweet shop, they start throwing a hissy fit, diving and stuff. Why? Because they're actually addicted to the sugar. So where does that principle stop? Is it just with wine, or is that with bad things altogether? How does you, how do you know? No, that to okay. Stop? Uh, one, because sugar is poison. We know no, no, that. no doubt about that. No yeah. doubt about okay. that. That's cool. why, islamically speaking, anything that harms your body anything. is forbidden. Anything, oh, understand? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. And alcohol stated clearly about alcohol. Right. That's what Allah said in the Quran. لا تلقوا أنفسكم إلى تهلكة. Do not put yourself into harm. That's why Islam, from the Islamic principle, repelling away evil, take precedence over bringing goodness. Okay. Understand? Yeah, yeah. So always try to stay away from the evil. So my point here is about. The Bible teaches you to become something better. I'm not negating everything in the Bible. There is some truth in it. Let me clarify myself. There is that be good to your neighbors. But all of that will share this. But, but the Bible does not pay attention to the most important things. How to fix society as a whole. For example, Christianity is only for the people to be in church. It's not for the government. The government doesn't have a system to follow. But this is why I need to stop. Sorry, I just no problem, no problem. Can we not do the Christianity talk? I'll tell you why. No, the Bible because, is about the Bible. Yeah, sorry. Because sorry. Christianity and Bible are two different things. I agree. They don't believe in the Bible, and that's just. But they say they believe in no, the Bible. They say they yeah. do, but we all know they but don't. The New so Testament. Let's just talk in biblical. Okay, the New yeah. Testament. Because yeah. we have to understand, brother. Yeah, the Almighty will not create the creation without giving us a guideline. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Guideline as a whole and as individuals. Agreed. You see, that's why one of the beauty of Islam. Islam came to preserve five things. Let me just show you about Islam. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Came to preserve five things. First, Islam came to preserve the oneness of God. Okay. That's why paganism, yeah. politism is forbidden Islam. A man came to Prophet Muhammad and he bowed down to him. Prophet Muhammad said to him, why are you bowing down? He said, I was in Yemen and I saw people bowing down to their kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, don't bow down to no one except to the Most High. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So anything that comes to corrupt the oneness of God, worshiping God alone in Islam is forbidden. Yes? Yeah. Secondly, Islam came to preserve intellect. Yeah, yeah. That's why alcohol, drugs is forbidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. Okay. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Okay. Fourthly, Islam came to preserve marriage life. That's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Fifthly, Islam came to preserve life. That's why killing people and justice is forbidden. And these five things that Islam came to preserve is not just say, stay away from it, no. There is a punishment for those who go and do it. And those punishments is upon the government to establish that law for the people, okay. understand, to save the society. So 
this, this, these five things that Islam came to preserve, the opposite of it is destroying societies. Alcohol is destroying societies. They say NHS is bleeding because of alcohol, yes? Because of drugs, because of gambling, because of interest, because of fornication, adultery. That's why majority of people who hate, who hate Islam are either that ignorant or those who are in power. Those who are making money from these vices and they see as Islam as a threat for their business, yeah. even though Islam is, is good for us individually and collectively. Yeah, yeah. So this legislation, who came with it? A man that existed 1,400 years ago, who couldn't read and write, but he came with it as a perfect way of life for us individually and collectively. On the other hand, we have the Bible, the New Testament, we have these politicians who study in the best universities around the world, they cannot resolve the problem that we are facing. And the most high like we agreed, he will not leave us without a guideline. And that guideline for us individually and collectively is in Islam because it came from the Almighty. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, no, no, I, listen, I'll tell you what, just to give you a bit of feedback. Yeah. Obviously, I was raised as a Christian. Yeah. Um, so you guys were my enemy. <laughs> My absolute enemy. In fact, I would probably fight you on the road. Yeah. But the more I've done research, I sat there going, okay, in the scriptures of the Bible, I could actually see more Muslim than I can Christianity in the own scriptures. There is some passage, yeah? that's true. Especially yeah. go to Old Testament. Yeah. So Old I Testament. Mean, definitely. Yeah. I so think the only so. thing, no, you are. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I was sitting there was saying now on it is that I don't know. I read the Quran, but I haven't gone through it through. Yes. Um, I don't know where it says that Jesus or any of them was Muslim or Christian. So It does say he's a Muslim. Does it? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 Allah mentioned the Quran that inna deena inda Allah al-Islam. The religion with Allah is al-Islam. Sorry, say that again? The religion with Allah is al-Islam. Okay. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, if you got Surah Al-Ma'idah, yeah, yeah. and that's what Allah mentioned about Jesus and his followers, they say we are Muslims. Barakallahu alayhi They say we are Muslims. Moses said the Muslim. Many people misunderstand that. What, what, what does it mean when the Quran says Jesus, Moses, Abraham, all the prophets and messengers were Muslims? Doesn't mean they were speaking Arabic. Okay? Doesn't mean they said it in Arabic language. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some of them spoke Arabic, yeah, yeah, yeah. some of them spoke Aramaic or yeah, yeah. Syriac, which is similar to Arabic. It means they submit to God according to God's teaching. Right, but it doesn't... Okay, I agree with you. So that's, that's the meaning it of Islam. it doesn't say outright, though. No, no the Quran says it outright. Jesus was a Muslim, yeah. Jesus was it's a Muslim. Muslim. Moses was a Muslim. Right. Abraham. Mo Moses says, says it. Like, yeah, clearly, clearly. Okay. In the Ma'idah, Moses is the He says, وَأَنَا مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And I'm from the Muslims. Okay. Uh, Abraham, I'm from the Muslims. Okay. So it, it clearly... وَأَنَا أَوَّلْ مُسْلِمِينَ عفوا. وَأَنَا أَوَّلْ مُسْلِمِينَ We are the first Muslims. I swear so I, I, I'm what speaking to him. I'm speaking to him. But they worship devils. Does the devil take to worship God alone? Uh, from what? Following Muhammad? Yeah, from Prophet Muhammad. You are lying. Take care of yourself. You are lying. Anyway, so my point here is what I'm saying. You are lying. 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 So my point here is it says, it says clearly, okay? But my point here is look, when you read the Old Testament, I agree, especially in the Old Testament, there's very similar, a lot of similarities yeah, yeah. between Islam and the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, the Old Testament teaches you to follow God's teaching. There's a rules and a law. However, Islam, that we don't believe just by following the rules, you're going to enter paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe firstly, and the, the, uh, the, 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 the most important thing, you enter paradise because of the mercy of the Creator, okay. because of His grace. By His grace, okay. there's conditions to it. That you worship Him alone. You do not worship no one beside Him. Okay. And you follow His teaching. You yeah. understand? So, I mean, let's go back to the Old Testament. For example, the Old Testament, yeah? Let me ask you. Or well, before that, let me just lay down the foundation. Yeah, go for it, go for it. The Old Testament, yeah. the New Testament, I believe there's some truth in it, no doubt. Okay. Yeah. However, I believe there's a lot of falsehood. Yeah, yeah. And I can show you, for example. Does God regret? Sorry? Does God regret? Regret? What is regret? Regret, for example. Sorry, I forgot your name. What's your name again? Byron. Byron, yeah? My name is Shamsi again, I'll remind you. Yeah, yeah. And I just said, Byron, that's my camera. Yeah, yeah. Take care of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go to buy something and come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, I come back, you're gone. It's like my camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I say, because I didn't know. I regret for late, letting I Byron take care of instead. So now, when you look to Samuel, yeah, yeah. in Samuel, it says, God greatly regrets for choosing Saul as a king because he turned his back on him. 
What scripture is that? Can I get that? That is in Samuel 1st 15. Okay. Whoa. I'll show you. Hello. First 15, yeah? Them yeah, get Samuel, them, them, them own thinking. Even that, they go yeah, read that. Them own thinking. No, no, so, I'm thinking for trust him. So, you can't trust men? Yeah. You couldn't trust men. So, I'm saying you have your own thinking. So, I'm leaving him alone. Yeah, Uncle, out, 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 out. Even that, I have a problem with. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, one second, I'll just get it out. Yeah, no problem. That, you know, that's why I come to speak as Kona. When I speak to people like you, yeah, yeah, yeah. they encourage me to come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But sometimes I speak to some people. I can't do the ignorance. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we are here to yeah. have a nice conversation, yeah, yeah, respectful yeah, yeah. way. You know, yeah. I, you, you want good for me and I want good for you that's, too. That's you it. understand? That's it. Right, Samuel, yeah? First Samuel. Yeah. First Samuel. Go to uh, First Samuel 15, 15. chapter 15, 11. Okay. Sorry, am I reading? I'm gonna read okay, it. yeah, okay. Uh, Sorry, it's up there. Ten, yeah. Then, uh, my brother, uh, 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 this guy, uh, please, please. Is it? You know, you know, sorry, sorry. You know, Prophet Muhammad. To show you, some Muslims don't follow teaching Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. Prophet Muhammad, we, he was with his disciples, mm. and they are saying loudly, Allahu Akbar. Yeah, yeah. He said, Allah is not deaf, he can hear you. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, yeah. It loudly. He hears you from heaven. He hears everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He hears everything. You see, so he's coming shouting, doesn't prove. Because yeah, no, no, Prophet no. Muhammad teaches us don't do that. Exactly. You know? And I have the same thing with the Christians. He he talks, so, but you don't walk nothing. <laughs> uh, let us go. So, number 10, 11. It repented me that I have set up Saul to be king. For he, he, he stand back from following me. So, this is the old English. Yeah, yeah. It re he has to repent. He repents, yeah. Go to repent. He turns around. Yeah, but when you repent, what does it mean? Turn around. Why you turn around from what? From what he's done. Yeah, why? Because it's wrong or right? What if he's turned around? Yeah, because it it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. God doesn't make yeah. no wrong. Okay, let me read this one more time. Read this. Oh, give me one second. Yeah. You read the whole context. Read the whole okay, context. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the beginning. Why God said that? That's not the nature of the Most High. Okay, all right, cool. That is not the nature of the Most High. That's why when you look to how God's been described in the Bible and you compare how God's been described in the Quran, also look how the prophets of God been described in the, new, the uh, in the Bible, and how they've been described in the Quran. Let us go through some examples. Yeah, in the in the Bible, in Leviticus, either Leviticus or Numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. to show you another deficiency that the scribes of the Bible, the Old Testament, ascribed to the Most High. They said God created the heavens and the earth, yeah. and what is between them, in the sixth day, six days, in the seventh day, rested and refreshed. Refreshed by definition when you become re energized, okay. That's not the nature of the most high. No, you don't need the to. most high, thank you very much. When you compare these statements, we have in the Quran Allah said, Wala wa fi ayamin, wa min The meaning of the verse we have created the heavens and the earth and that which is between them in six days and no fatigue overcame us. The Muslim scholars said the reason Allah mentioned that to refute the lies been attributed to him by the scribes of the Old Testament, that he rested and refreshed. So Allah said no fatigue overcame us. Okay. So don't think because we created, Allah creates creation, therefore he became tired, no. No fatigue overcame us, even touched us, yeah? That's one. The other one, when you look to uh, we, you know how the language came about? No, go. Okay, in the, in the Old Testament, that's in the Old Testament, Genesis. Okay. Genesis, God looked upon the earth and he saw people, the Babylon. Okay. He yeah, saw yeah, people yeah, speaking yeah. one language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they start building. Oh, oh yeah, cool. So, that's yeah, 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 start building okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Build, build, yeah, to yeah. the heaven. Yeah. So buildings, yeah? yeah? So he said, God. They together, they were each heaven, yeah? They're, okay. now, he said, oh, they're speaking one language. Yeah. And they, nothing can stop them. If you go back to Sumerians, pre-Judaism, Sumerians used to believe if you build two buildings, you'll be able to reach the sky and you overthrow God. But we know that's not true. The sky is too far for him to reach it. So we know that the, the, the one who wrote that passage in, the, in Genesis, he didn't know how far the sky from the earth. Therefore, it's not from God. 
Firstly, secondly, God, God doesn't worry him that people speak one language. Compare this, what Prophet Muhammad told us. Prophet Muhammad told us that Allah said, all mankind and the demon, not just mankind, yeah, yeah. even the jinn, the demon. Yeah. If all of you come together and you have the most evil heart that ever existed, all of you have the same most evil heart that will not harm Allah. Agreed. But just asking, yeah. that reference of the Bible, Genesis. ain't it yet? Is it not just trying to tell you how we should be working as one and what you can achieve if you do? No, it's not teaching us that. Why what not? Is te no, it's, it's not teaching that. That teaching us that God became worried because people are working as is one. Is that what it says? Yeah, yeah. Is that your definition? No, no, no. I don't no. believe it says <laughs> Read it, read it, read it. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not going to miss quotes, read it. No, 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 no. And again, it <laughs> depends which translation you're going to read. Only King James. But, uh, okay, I, I read the other one, but uh, how King James. Yeah, yeah, only King James. Go King James. That in Genesis 11 something, if I do remember exactly. Okay, sorry. 11 something. He says, he said, God be. So what God did, they speak in one language, they been, said nothing can stop them. But it's and not I'm true. I'm going to see the word worried. Is that what I'm looking for? Right? I, I read it. So I, I, if I add it, King James or ESV. Yeah, I'm not going to any other one apart from King James. Okay, King James, I don't know why exactly what King James, but you can go to it, read it. It's huh? real hot, man. Yeah. Oh. yeah. The Alhamdulillah, the brothers there, because you were facing the, the sun, man. You, be, uh, you became fish and chips, brother. Absolutely, no historical evidence. That's a different thing. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. from humorous. And to, uh, when, he, when he went to Babylon, yeah. he heard tales of people. We had read here. Yeah, there's a proof for it. No, is, but, no, but there's a proof that he just tales. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm showing him. Because he took something from Sumerians, which show us the person who wrote it, he doesn't know the distance from here to the heaven. Right, if you would like to, because I can't see worried anywhere there okay. or anything on that type of thing. Like sport. I said, okay, and the whole earth. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It's going to go down. It's cracked. <laughs> ah, okay. And the whole earth was on, was one of language and one of one speech. And came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, they found the plan and the shina and the dwelt. It goes as built as a city and tower. We stop. Let's make us a name. Let's we be scattered here. Yeah? And the Lord came down. Okay. Please. The Lord came down to see the city and tower, which shouldn't from it. And the Lord said, Behold, yeah, the people is one, and they have only one language, and this they began to do. Now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to let us go down and there confuse their language that they might not understand one another's speech so the lord scattered them abroad from hands okay this is not the, the one here right. but let us read the context yeah okay so they're speaking one language yeah, yeah, they're building the tall towers okay. god what happened to him well, when he saw we got saw them he doing that come and change the language. why because he wants to separate right why why not because uh, that's why he became God, worried. God. You know why? No, no, no. I tell you what. Don't put words in. I'm gonna put words. Don't become a Christian. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I tell you why, yeah. Okay. They're speaking one language. Yeah. So what? The Almighty, even who speak one language, is not gonna harm him. The context said to us, tell us, God said nothing can stop them now. Yeah. So nothing can stop them because one of the things that I try to do to reach the heaven. Right. No, the only the only discrepancy I will have here. Yeah. Sorry. Go is um, I don't believe in free will, and like you said, God you don't made believe in what? Free will. You don't believe free will. Free will no. And I don't. So can I have the phone? Go on. I took it. <laughs> I've been forced. You can't true. Blame me. No, no, no. But then God there's no free will. So keep it. I'm gonna tell. But you can't blame but me. It, no, I'm not blaming you. God wants you to have it. Keep Hello, it. I'm taking it. Take it. Can I get it back as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> That's what he tells me no, to do. No, no, no. 100%. Free will, no. You no, can no, only no, get no, free will. No, no. I don't believe in free will. No, no. You can only get free will. That's another one. That's another one. Yeah? That's but another. I don't believe in that. So we've been forced to, you've been? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, yeah, so I think we've been guided. That's oppression, though. It's guided. No, 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 no. Free will. Free will no, doesn't no, negate. No. Go showing you guidance doesn't no. negate free will. All right. Okay. So if you're born. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're going off but, Yeah, yeah. Go, go back, go back, go back. Go back to the main point. Go back that. So uh, let me remember, right. what we're doing, we're showing how 
the perfection of God in the Quran and Islamic teaching. I uh, know, I'm okay, you know, but I uh, okay, pass it, pass it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what I'm trying to say is that obviously to me, I see that as a unit, like um, they're unified. And I've seen that's how God is showing they're unified. And what we can do if we are unified, which is what you're necessarily trying to do by teaching me the Quran, being unified, being one. There's no problem with that, let's have a good. To so, be unified in following yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how I see it. So in that verse, I no, you become it. Christian now. No, 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 no. You become no, a Christian now. How I'm seeing it. <laughs> yeah. That if we come, you become a Christian right, now. And we you're come added together, to it. What can we do? We cannot over. We cannot overpower God. Agreed. God doesn't care if we become one. Agreed. That's why look the teaching of Prophet Islamic teaching. Islamic teaching show us, even if we are the most evil people, speak one language, united upon one evil will not harm Allah, will just harm us. And in another narrative, in the same narration, even if we have the most righteous hearts, that will not benefit Allah, will benefit us only. So what it show us, firstly that teaching pre, uh, came before the, the Judaism, or before the, 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 the uh, is a Sumerian teaching. The Sumerians to believe they can build tall buildings and overpower God. Yeah, so you can see that it's been crippled into so-called the Old Testament, the Torah. So my point here is, when you, another one, if you know someone had intercourse with his own daughters, okay, yeah, would you yeah. allow him to teach your daughters? Would I allow him to teach my daughters? Yeah. Imagine being someone said, you know, this guy, he just had sex with his daughters. Would, I would unknowingly. Do that. Knowingly. Unknowingly. Yeah, unknowingly. Yeah. Unknowingly. Yeah. He, would, he didn't know it, right? Yeah. Is that what we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go on. But would I let him teach? Yeah. Would he knew if he changed? No, he uh, changed. I mean, you know, Islamically, if someone, you know, if, if there's a pedophile in Islam, yeah. and he makes tawbah, he repents to Allah and he changed, he, that's good he changed, but you don't allow him with the children. To be saved. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. So then you're not trusting in God, you're trusting no. in yourself. No, no, because you can't trust a man. Because imagine now I bring someone as a pedophile. And he said, you know, yeah, because remember, Don't Satan, he can still be inspired by, by Satan. Because yeah, you only have that urge. So okay. we have to do, don't put him into, into that test. Yeah, but God, you understand? God change him. No doubt, he can change him. So but it, God knows. Like but we don't know. It, okay. So you understand? Because you don't know. That's it. Uh, right. So we take precaution. Okay. Understand? Oh, precaution. So, okay. Understand? So oh. that it makes sense. You understand? No, for, I, I, yeah, like, I for example, who, someone known that he, if you give him money, he takes it. He's known for that. So what you do if you if you repent is I'm gonna give you a job, but you're not gonna be in charge of money. Okay. You're gonna another job I give you. So you're not gonna encourage him. Encourage him. Right, it's right, all right, he right, knows. Yeah, understand? Right, okay. Look at the Islamic teaching. Okay. So my point here is, you in the in the Old Testament, the prophets and messengers, they were known to be evil. They're not. They were known to be evil. They were known. Yeah. In just the Bible or in, in the, no? No, no, in the Quran. No, the Quran. They were righteous. So they're they're all perfect. No, they're not perfect. They, as the humans, okay. they make mistake. So what's the difference? What's your definition of evil? Okay, evil, fornication is not... Is, the prophets and messengers do not fall into fornication, adultery. The prophets and messengers, they do not fall into paganism. The prophets and messengers, they will not commit evil sins. Make mistakes, for example, maybe get angry, insult you. That's human nature. From human nature, it can happen. You understand? However, he will not, they will not lie. You know why? Because imagine I bring someone to you now, I said, this man is not to lie. But now he's claiming to be the prophet of the Most High. Yeah, 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 All yeah. of us, we, you know what? You just, you know, just, just stepping up now. Understand? Yeah. That's why the prophets and messengers in the Quran they are known to be what? Truthful ones. Okay. Right. Prophet David, Prophet David, what he did, he set up his own friend because he fell in love with his yeah, wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't believe that. We believe Prophet David never did that. That is a lie of the scribes who had the evil intention toward the prophet and the messengers of the Most High. So when you compare the teaching of Islam, it goes in line with our sound reasoning, with our natural inclination. That's why majority, that's why the fastest growing religion in the Western world, I mean, even on the first of the earth, yeah, but let us be in the Western world, is Islam. You know why? Because the one who legislates Islam is the same one who created human beings. But can I ask you what would happen? Let me finish the point. Yeah. So, oh, sorry, sorry, I've always been sorry, no, no, right. So I'll show you why, yeah? Why, why people are inclined towards Islam? Yeah, yeah. Because when the Creator creates us, He creates us with the tools that goes in line with Islam, clicks in.
Okay. It's like a Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, sorry, I'll be talking no, for no, long. No, no, my bad. No, yeah, no, no, you're good, my bad. Yeah. So, what if the profits never made mistakes? Then what? How, how, how would like I, I said, teach? Like I said, I said, making mistakes, they do, as human beings, but not in conveying the message. You All convey right, explain, the message. Explain, explain. of that. <laughs> because when a prophet, when, when a, the Almighty chose a prophet to convey the message, meaning he trusts these prophets. And you make sure that message will reach the people. Okay. Understand? So when they convey the message, we'll not make mistakes. But as a human being, maybe he will, for example, our Prophet Muhammad once was asked about type of tree. And he told him to do something. Then he said, I'm, 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 a, I'm a normal human being like you, so I can, mistake, I can make mistakes about these issues. Yeah, yeah. Understand? Yeah. But whatever I tell you Allah said is the truth. But then didn't David just have a human act? Is that not what you're saying? Or is that just way too bad? My way too or bad, how, bro. So how do you, Would you do that? How would do, you, no, 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 but it's not about me. I wouldn't do half the things that most men do. No, no, no but huh? I'm saying as an honorable person, as an honorable person, would you set up with your friend to be killed? No, I, would you know your friend is fighting for you? No, but allegedly I've probably done worse. Huh? I've probably done worse. No, no, no. I'm saying, look, you know as what on mean? The, so no, we don't have, I, I, I live crazy, like, crazy lifestyle, yeah? yeah? But certain things I know I, I should not do. No, I agree. As human beings, I, I know if my friend's fighting for me, I'm not going to set him up to, keep, to be killed because for I've a been, woman. for yeah, a woman, no, understand? So I'm not more honorable than the Prophet David. Yeah. I can't, I'm not even close to Prophet David. But what He's I'm more honorable than me. If he did that, is it really that bad that? It's unforgiven, or he still can't teach. No, Where he can be forgiven by logically, rationally. The Most High will not choose someone like him to be a prophet of his. You know why? Because the people already know this man can do anything. So, what's the worst thing your prophets have done? What's it in your head? My prophet never done worse things. They've never done bad things. No, they are never. No bad things at all. No, 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 no. So they make me make mistakes, shortcomings. You say shortcomings. Like what? That's what I mean. Tell me the worst thing, so I know. What do we, you don't say, we don't say worst thing. We don't speak right. about prophets. Tell, tell me. No, no, we don't say. We don't do say you know what I'm trying to say, though? No, I understand that, but yeah. we, when we speak about prophets and messengers in Islam, Moses or Abraham or Jesus, we speak, we speak with respect. Okay. Because they are the chosen ones by the Most High. So do you think so, it's disrespectful to tell the truth? No, is this, no, they haven't done worse things. So what have so, they done? Make mistakes about mistakes, you tell me. What type of mistake? No, so I told you. Lie. We, no, no the, way to lie. So, they never commit fornication. Okay. They never make adultery. They never betray people. So what did they do? I just want to know the difference. The Jewish, they were all protected from major sins, such as the ones he's mentioned. So adultery, yeah. uh, fornication, all these, all these major they sins. Protected by God. Yeah. Alcohol, all these major sins, they were protected uh, from these. Just the minor sins, mistakes. Yeah, they no, we don't say minor sins. We say mistakes. Mistakes. For example, for example, for example. Give me a for example. No, what he was saying. For example, for example, the mistakes. They made. I mentioned about the tree. Okay. When the Prophet Muhammad was asked about type of tree, he told them to do. You see, like uh, the shringo. He told them to do something. Okay. They came back to him. They said, "Oh, Messenger Allah, what you said was wrong." So I said, I'm, "My mistake. It's a mistake I made." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The other one, when the Prophet Muhammad was in a war. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Prophet Muhammad, the man came to him. I, I give you now with the Quran. Uh, 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 a blind man came to him who is a Muslim to ask him a question about Islam. Yeah, to ask him a question about Islam. But Prophet Muhammad was busy with the leaders of his tribe because they were disbelievers and he thought they were going to listen to him. Yeah, yeah. So Prophet Muhammad turned away from him. He didn't answer him. So Allah corrected him for that. That is a mistake because Allah, Allah corrected him that the one who's seeking. Uh, uh, answer, you should answer him. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So that was a mistake. Yeah, 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 you understand? Yeah, yeah. However, like the brother mentioned, as for falling into major sins, that which, that which negates their truthfulness and honesty and their uh, uh, honorability, then they are protected from that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. That's why you prophet and messenger is very respected in Islam. Okay. You know, Moses, Jesus. That's why if someone, we're not even allowed to draw Jesus or Moses. Because these people are respected, we have to respect them. Yeah. When you try to mock them, you are mocking who indirectly? Yeah. The, the Almighty. You understand? Okay. So I'm what I say to you, when you look, because I see you an honest person, you I see a person, yes. All of us, yeah. inshallah. But when you look, if you want to worship God according to his teaching, is in Islam. But well, I will check that out, my yeah. I don't, you know. As a gift for you. Thank You're gonna you. love this book. Thank you. And the one thing I would say is obviously I've watched you, I've seen you. Yeah. That's why I come to you. But I would like to say thank you, my brother. brother. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, Allah bless you, too. you I got you the truth. See you Thank guys. you very much. Take care. Where are you from? Sorry, to, are you around there? Woolwich. Woolwich. You know, I do come to Woolwich sometimes. Oh, yeah? I teach. All right. right. Can well, you take, should you take, take my number? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, please.
Because I'm coming, no, this, no, next Sunday I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have a barbecue. Yeah. So you can I'm come with it. Yeah, 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 come. Yeah. You eat too much, by the way. No. Alhamdulillah. Because if you I'm eat too much, to lose, if you eat too much, we're going to invite you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brothers, 